Welcome back to the channel, it's the Earth Science Classroom. This video is on geology and looking at rock layers, and in particular, looking at one of Nicholas Steno's main principles of geology, which is superposition. How this law governs how rocks are laid down and to figure out the relative age of rock layers. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This video is gonna cover one geologic law by Nicholas Steno, which is superposition. Now, Steno was invited from Denmark to go to Italy, Florence, Italy, to study shark teeth. And from there, he became immersed and intrigued by geology, rock layers, and relative age and the age of the earth, and produced many geologic principles that form the foundation of modern day geology, which then Hutton and Lyle and other amazing scientists used as a foundation or a baseline to then further the study of geology. Superposition is a geologic principle that is referring to the relative age of a rock layer. So you have a bunch of rock layers and you are looking at the ages based on which one seems younger or which one seems older. Now, Steno observed rock layers in multiple strata or bedding. Now in this diagram, we have a simple one individual layer of cemetery rock and it's one strata, one bedding, and it is basically under an ocean. Now, this is the start of our sequence to explain this principle of superposition. So we started off with one single sedimentary rock layer at the beginning. Now, this is 50,000 years later on this clock, so to speak. And in that time, a new layer of sedimentary rock has been deposited, has been laid down and formed on top of the original cemetery rock. So different colors are showing you the two different rocks. Now, what Senna was saying is that the one that was recently deposited, this lighter brown one, is younger in age compared to the older, deeper, and original rock layer that's sedimentary. So over the course of 50,000 years, you have this continuous accumulation of sediments being deposited by or from the ocean onto on top of the original sedimentary rock. So now we can start looking at a sequence of rock layers going from the surface down and increasing with depth. And now we've jumped forward to half a million years or 500,000 years later and we have now three layers of rock. We have the original sedimentary rock at the bottom, the base that, with the increased depth. We have the middle rock that was laid down on top that's sedimentary and now we have this additional third layer at the top by the earth's surface which has been deposited most recently so what Steno was saying about this principle of superposition is the rock layer that's closest to the surface is the younger rock layer and as you go down deeper you start to increase the age or relative age of that rock layer. Now, again, this is based on lateral continuity and original horizontality, the other principles that go into this, which mean that the rock layer is continuous across a horizontal span of area, as long as the sediments are the same and being laid down the same kind of geotic time, you have now the ability to look at the sequence of rock layers with depth and to understand which one is younger and which one is older based on the relative age and the position and depth of that rock layer. And this example is one and a half million years later and we have a fourth layer, again this yellow rock layer that's sedimentary been deposited most recently so it's the youngest and you start to understand that over time more and more rock layers are going to be deposited as long as you have deposition occurring at the surface through various depositional agents like water or wind transporting and dropping and depositing the sediment and accumulation of sediment over time so again this principle of superposition was theorized and understood by Steno and allowed future scientists and geologists to use this principle to understand more about the Earth's surface, Earth's history, and what happened 
and occurred in the past. A great example in America is the Grand Canyon National Park with the Grand Canyon being the center piece and the Colorado River eroding the canyon for the past five, six million years and exposing over 1.8 billion years of geology and rock layers from the basement Vishnu schist, the metamorphic rock by the river, up the canyon wall to the various supergroups and the various layers of sandstone and limestone and cemetery rock all the way to the top, which is the Kaibab formation, which dates back to around 265 to 270 million years at the surface. So you have around 1.6 to 1.5 billion years of geologic history just exposed for scientific experiments and interpretations of what happened in around this part of Arizona over the best part of one and a half billion years. Again, all started with Steno in the mid 1600s with his amazing principle of superposition. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on earth science.